Hello friends. Up till now we had a discussion on the pointers. In the first session we discussed what is pointer. And after getting the concept of pointers correct, that pointer is a reference variable. It's a variable of secondary or derived type of data which is an extension of a, a primitive type primary type and it is useful for referring a variable of primitive type means it holds the value of primitive type of variable and points to their values so that in the expression without using primitive type of variables we can use pointer variables then in the next session, we had a discussion about call by reference. In call by reference, we discussed that if you want to refer a variable beyond its scope, means let us understand if you are having a variable of primitive type and having the scope in man. And if you want to update its copy in the function definition, then if you use a call by value technique, it means their values will be exchanged among variables and you need a, another pair of variable and whatever updates you will do with a, another variable in the function definition, it will not reflect to the original variable. And hence, we need to, instead of using call by value, we should go with the call by reference. Call by reference means you have to pass on the address and as we know that a variable which is having ability to assign or get, get assigned to the address and that is called as a pointer variable. So whenever you are passing it on as an address of variable as an argument to a function then in the parameters you have to define a pointer variable. Now pointer variables will internally link with the memory addresses. So beyond the scope, whatever the updates you will do, whatever the process you will do with the, uh, with, with the reference variable, it will directly reflect to the original values of the variable to which it is referring. And this is another advantage means if your function is returning, you are trying to define a functions which is returning more than two values, more than one value rather because function returns only one value at a time. At the same time, you want to process a variable beyond its scope, then that time call by reference technique is used. Now, in this session, we'll be discussing about how pointer will deals with an array, pointer, pointers to array. As we all know that array is a set of similar type of data having respective locations in the memory means to make a collection of data we need to go with the array we already studied about arrays now <clears throat> as array is also a derived type of data array is also extension of a primitive type data type of data so even means it is also a data type, we can even able to set a pointer to an array as well. Means if you have uh, having an array like this, int a of blank equals to, and here, here are the elements, right? So in previous session, we studied that we assign the address of primitive type to the pointer and uh, refer to their values. In the similar manner, we can even able to set the pointer to an array and refer to the or traversing array or in a searching sorting or array traversing techniques we can use pointers as well hope you get the agenda right about today's session today's session is related to the pointers to an array means when array is there when there is a similar type of data we are collecting cumulating together we can even use pointers to set to this uh, 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 re reference to the array 
and we can uh, in array techniques we know that we can set the loop and use for the searching sorting uh, right click and then uh, like uh, updating the data so uh, if without using array subscripts if you can use the pointers by using pointers as well you can able to uh, traverse the data you can able to uh, manipulate with the data uh, with, with the with the, uh, with the array over there let us discuss this with, with, by example okay so here i'll write a demonstrative example or pointers to array i'll include stdio.h i'll include ponio dot h then i'll declare to define the main method and let us declare an array of undefined subscripts and declare and initialize the values in it for example you if you write declare an integer array like this okay and then you define a pointer variable now the step number one as we know a is an array and b is an pointer now whenever we are saying a is an array it means it's a accumulation it's a collection of various elements so the memory size the address of a is of if it, if, if here is a 10 elements means 10 into 20 bytes so 20 bytes address is of a and whenever you declare the pointer variable as we uh, as we discussed prior pointer vari vari variable will get the two bytes of memory as it has to assign only the address so now the challenge is i if i if i try to write like prior b equal to address of a right b equal to address of means to point to set a pointer to any variable you have to assign the address of address of it to it now here a is not a is, is not a primitive type of data it is a, a is an array right a is an extension a is a derived type of data as well as b also so in such situations means like for in general uh, sense we can say that 20 bytes address you cannot assign to a, a, a single pointer variable but as you know that array array is a collection of various subscripts so every subscripts every subscripts address is of two bytes every subscripts address is of two bytes so instead of writing b equal to address of a address of a if you can write b equal to address of a of zero that can be possible address of a is 20 bytes but address of a of zero is two bytes right or ad address of any subscript is of two bytes so in c if you write a statement like b equals to a b equals to a then by default pointer variable points to base address <coughs> base address means address of first subscripts now first subscript means address of a of 0 means instead of writing b or b equal to address of a or b equal to address of a of 0 you, if you write a statement like b equals to a b is a pointer and a is an array then by default it will start pointing to the address of a of 0 so there is no uh, need of writing expressions b equal to address of a of 0 right so now b started uh, starting pointing to a of 0 then if you just print star b then it will print the value of a of 0 if you print 
star b as i said b is actually pointing to the base address and base address is a address of a of 0 so to traverse to fetch the element belongs to a of a a of 0 you can use star b now and then if you use b plus plus now b plus mean, plus plus means b equals to b plus 1 and as you know b holds the address of a of 0 and a of 0 if you increment by 1 so it will become the memory address of a of 1 right and if you again print the value b is pointing to so it will print an element of a of 1 likewise if you continuously increment b plus plus it will go, go on incrementing its pointing pointing to value to 10 20 30 40 like this right can you able to set the loop for this yes let's try this means if i set a loop like for let us declare a i as a counter variable over here for i equals to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus as you know that if you start your array subscript by 0 the last element will be uh, 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 your, your limit minus 1 means 10 minus 1 so i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and then if you write expression printf percent d slash n okay a of in the square bracket percent d slash t if you can go with the title message like printf subscripts array subscripts element and if you say a of percent d slash t slash t and here you write percent d slash n now a of i and here i will write pointer b right here i will write pointer b and then after printing the values if i use b plus plus all the time right so to which you initially it is pointing to a of 0 and then every time if i use b plus plus it is increment is uh, it's a pointing position one by one so instead of writing these all multiple statements if i write a statement like this printf a of 0 a, a of uh, the subscript number and pointing to b plus i b plus i b means the base address plus initially 0 means it will point to the base address then b plus 1 right means pointing to 20 b plus 2 plus 1 again and so i value will 2 means it will pointing to 30 40 likewise let us try this hope you understand this a is an array of undefined subscripts having these all the elements we have i as a loop counter we have star b as a pointer now here in this example how pointer will points to the array how pointer will point to the array that is the question so here uh, instead of writing b equal to address of a of 0 or uh, we can we can simply write b equals to a and the the pointer have a property if it is pointing to the po uh, pointer to uh, pointing to an array then by default it will point to the by by, by default it will point to the base address of base address means address of a of 0 then we can set a loop for i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and then here you can write i comma star b plus i now b plus i means first of all you evaluate the expression b actually is a pointer variable means it deals with the memory addresses so if you write b plus i means memory address of a of 0 plus 0 
So that will be the plus zero in the sense that will be the memory address of E of zero. So it will print the value of it. Then memory address of E of zero plus one. Plus one means after obviously it will the uh, memory address of next subscripts. So it's a memory address of twenty. And then uh, like we we can uh, gradually increment that memory address plus i in the bracket and then point two. So as we discussed prior, star is a operator called as value at operator. So whichever the memory address you are specifying, okay, point means uh, value at that particular memory address. So let us uh, try this example. Okay, here is the ptr two or let us three dot c and let us check this. Open this code like okay. Ptr three dot c. Okay, here is the code. And just run it. And here is the outcome, output of this. Okay. Now, array subscript is a of zero, a of one. These are the array subscripts, and by using pointer, we are able to point to the. We are able to point to the. Uh, 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 Point to the entire travel. We can able to traverse. We can able to point to that entire array element. Right. Hope it proves. Okay. Then. Now, here in this case, in the in this example, we can successfully able to point to the array and traverse entire array elements. Now, let us try some other thing. If you if you want to traverse, print that. traversing an array in the reverse order and here in this case what i will do i'll just like set a reverse array reverse traversing of array i equals to 9 i more than equals to 0 i minus minus All right and then Here, if you set the reverse loop, <coughs> let us try this now. No, the updates are not things are not updating. Okay, anyway, we'll reload it again. Here it is now. We have a complete code if you test it. <coughs> here is array subscripts, array traversing in order, and here is array subscript in the reverse order. It means we can traverse the entire array elements 
in order and reverse order as well right by setting a loop like for i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus even we can traverse the entire we can modify the loop like also let us comment it and let's try another technique like whenever we are saying b of a as we just recently discussed that by default it will point to the a of 0 and by incrementing one by one it uh, travels to the next uh, next uh, substeps and hence we are traversing the elements now if i set a loop like this by default pointer point to the base address and then i will write while star b it means instead of using for loop okay if i use while star b means till the pointer will not point to null because if you don't know the size of an array here in this loop we, we should know the size of an array so that you can you can you can define the finite loop like 0 to 10 and all but if you don't know the size of an array till then and by default pointer is pointing to the best address here you can say that while star b is still the pointer is not pointing to null okay till the pointer is not pointing to null you can just like you can print the element like printf person d slash n and star b and you can you can use plus plus let's try this now, as we know that uh, b plus plus means it's a post increment so initially uh, it is pointing the base address so it will print the uh, like first elements value and then it uh, goes on incrementing till the uh, pointer is not pointing to null right so let's try this also so that we can able to traverse the Again, we need to update it. So, it's PTR three, yes. Here is while pointer b while pointer b print f pointer in the bracket b plus plus now b plus plus is a post increment so it increments the value of b by one continuously till the pointer b is not pointing null value okay let us try this execution and yes we can able to traverse the, all the elements right so we can even able to set a loop like this while pointer b print f okay this star b plus plus over there okay and if you want to have a traverse it in the reverse order right if you want to traverse in the reverse order, you can set like okay, uh, b equals to address of a of the last subscripts, okay, and you can make it reverse also
so here I'm trying to try, uh, traverse the array elements in order as well as initially it is pointing to the base address so I can go for increment and then I will set the pointer to the uh, last subscripts and make it a reverse traversing over there. Let's try this. is we need to make some modifications and let's try this thing let us say i equals to 9 and b of i and here we will write while i remains more than minus one you go with the e minus minus we need to make some modifications over there okay and no it's going to be infinite let's modify it accordingly I equals to 9 right address of v of e of 9 over there okay here we need to modify b plus i minus minus and i minus minus means i is 9 then 8 and all these stuff and then we need to add it into the b let us try this i explain to you traversing in the in order is not a problem in the reverse order you need to uh, set the i value to the last positions and then uh, till i more than minus one or uh, i more than uh, uh, equal equals to zero okay you can go with the like this let us try this yeah every single user is still not okay fine i okay more than equal to zero, not equal equal to zero. B is fine. And we will go with the I minus minus. Getting 
some problems but a, 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 a i equals to 9 b equals to address of now uh, basically when traversing in the reverse order it's always better not to go with while loop the reason is very simple because we have to you can go with the i equals to 9 okay i more than equal to 0 i minus minus and then print up e of person d slash p person d and that is your i comma star b plus i right because you are traversing in the reverse order over there so you follow the same loop for the traversing in the reverse order the reason is we have to set the traversing of uh, in the reverse order over there let us go for the executions here it is no till we are not getting it i equals to 9 oh but here we need to why it is not getting the reason because of the simply uh, reason that b you need to set to the address of a of my n last value Wrong. Here it is. This statement is wrong. B. B equals to A again, and then here. You can write B plus I that is the correct statement. Sorry for a lot of experimentations, okay, but like as we are dealing with the pointers, yeah, here it is. So, here while traversing an array in order, you can set the while loop and uh, you can set it while star B means while till the star B uh, pointer is not pointing null value, you can traverse it. And while traversing in the reverse order, you have to set a loop like this. I'm going to set a loop like this uh, for i equals to 9i more than equal to 0i minus minus and you can even able to traverse the array elements in the reverse order right so now here one thing we need to discuss about that is pointer arithmetics here in this example we discuss about pointer arithmetics pointer arithmetics means now let us understand B is a pointer variable, right? And if it is an integer pointer, it holds two bytes of memory. So if you say B plus plus, if you say B plus plus, now B is a pointer variable, and if it is a pointer variable, it is going to hold a memory address. Let's say six five five three six is a memory address. Now, whenever we say B plus plus, we expect that it will be 65537. But like as we know, memory address of integer variable is of two bytes. So 36 and 37 are shared by this pointer. So whenever you go, you are going for the B plus plus, it will increment by it will directly go to the 65538. So again, if you increment by B plus plus, it will increment by 655. Four zero. It means what? While performing pointer arithmetics, pointer will increment or decrement by its memory size are you getting it is yes, if you are using b plus plus it will increment by 2 
if b is a integer type of pointer if you use you are going for b plus plus and if it is a float pointer it will increment by 4 at the same time b minus minus will increase decrement by 2 okay if it is an integer pointer if it is a float pointer and you are using a b minus minus it will decrement by 4 so this is what the pointer arithmetic as pointer is dealing with the memory addresses as pointer is dealing with the memory addresses you cannot multiply it b multiply equals to 4 that is wrong multiplications and division is not possible with a with a pointer variable only addition and subtraction is possible because b if if that pointer variable is deal is going to deal with the memory addresses and memory addresses cannot be multiplied cannot be divided it has to be added or subtracted hope you get it so in this entire sessions i am i am i am uh, demonstrating you how a pointer can point to the uh, to an array right how to perform the pointer arithmetic means like incrementing uh, uh, like gradually from in order and reverse order and how we can traverse the array elements that is another uh, uh, utility of a pointer so initial sessions we discuss about the pointers then then we discuss about the call by reference techniques and here in this case we discuss about how pointer will behaves or how pointer will points to an array so this is the way how uh, we get the uh, concept right about the pointers how pointer is dealing with the uh, with, with, a, with, a, with, an, with an array over there while so this pointer is useful in all case cases while uh, 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 while uh, dealing with an array over there right so if you want to uh, pass on the entire array let's say in the if you have a in a main if you have an array like this and you want to pass on as an argument to a function you can able to pass on you can simply set a pointer over here right and that entire traversing array array traversing logic you can write over here right so this is the way how you can deal with the pointers you can set with an array over there right thank you